it's Nina again. I haven't seen you guys in a little while. Did the last page of the book trick you? Did you think the Easter story was over yesterday? It's not over yet. The story doesn't end at Easter Sunday. It keeps going and going and going and going all the way to now, to you. You're part of the story. The last page of the Easter booklet tells you that we're all connected. That part feels a bit hard at the moment when we can't meet up with and play with our friends. But we can still be connected to our friends even if we can't see them. Just like how we can be connected to Jesus even though we might not be able to see him. This idea makes me think of a book. A book called The Invisible String. It talks about how we can all be connected by love even when we can't be together. Back in March, our kids at the Corner Uniting Church drama group made a video based on this book. In just a second, we're gonna watch it and then we're gonna have an activity for you to do afterwards. I feel really scared. The thunder woke me up. I am going out to the lounge room to find mum. I don't want to go back to bed. I want to stay close to mum. Mum explained how we can always be together even when we were not in the same room. She told me about invisible string. It's a very special string made of love. It connects people who love each other. Where is the invisible string? Even though you can't see it, it's right there. Who else has an invisible string? Brothers and sisters? Yeah! My dog and my goldfish? Yeah! yeah. Best friends? Yeah! How far can the invisible string reach? Everywhere! What about my friend who lives overseas? Yeah! What about on the moon? Not that I know anyone who lives on the moon yet. Yeah! What about all the way to heaven to my grandpa? Yeah! Does the string go away when you're naughty? No. Love is stronger than anger. The string will always be there. Let's use our imagination. Hold your palms out, close your eyes, and use your invisible string to join everyone here together. Now, let's think about people who are not here today, the people we love, and join them to us now with more invisible string. Now those people can join the people they love with more invisible string. And their friends join in as well and their friends and so on until everyone in the whole world is connected by invisible strings so no one is ever alone. Just like Jesus' friends even though we're apart from our friends at church, we are still all connected to each other by the invisible string of Jesus' love. That invisible string sounds pretty great. It connects us to our family and friends, even though we might not be able to see them at the moment. And it connects us to Jesus, even though we might not be able to see him. Now we're gonna make a button or a bead person to remind us that we're always connected together and to Jesus. Now, if you have one of our take-home packs in the box or the bag, you'll have everything you need to make your button or your bead person. But maybe you want to make some more, or maybe you don't have one of those kits. I'll tell you everything you need to make your button or bead person. You obviously need some buttons. Any colour, any size or shape, really. A key ring, if you have one. Otherwise, you can just put a loop in your thread. A pair of scissors. Um, you probably do need a few beads because you at least want one for the face of your little person that you're making. So I'm using an old bracelet that I'm just going to cut up. 
some thread, preferably something quite thin so you can thread it through, some little beads or little buttons, mine are little melting beads but they'll work just fine, and a permanent texture or two to draw the face on your person. So what you first need to do is you need to grab some string. Now you're going to put it onto your key ring. So you need to thread from the top, so from the head or the hat, down to the body. If you have trouble with your thread, you can wet the ends of it or put a bit of tape on or even get a big needle if you've got one. So I've got my hat. Now I'm gonna cut my bracelet up. So I'm gonna thread both my bits of thread through. There we go, a hat and a face. Now I'm gonna thread on some other buttons and this is gonna make the body of our button person. And just keep threading till you get the size button person that you would like. And there we go. So I'm gonna tie the thread off at the bottom I'm going to thread on one of my little beads to make my feet. So just thread your bead on and I would just tie a couple of knots at the end to make sure it doesn't come back off again. And we'll do the other one. What you're going to get do next for your arms, you're going to grab some more thread. Now if you have one of our packs, you will have a small piece of pipe cleaner, you can just use that instead. So choose where you'd like the arms to go, tie a knot, and then do the same as you did with the legs. And there's just one final step and we'll be done to put a face on your button person. So grab your permanent texture, put some eyes, and I'm gonna do a big smile. And there we go. How to make your button person to remind you that we're all connected. There are other activities we can do that can remind us that we're all connected together. Maybe you can make a cup phone a cup on one end, a cup on another, and a string that goes between, and then you can talk through them. Maybe you could write a letter or draw a picture for someone you can't be with right now. And then you could post it to them or you can hold on to it till the next time you see them. Maybe you can make a phone call or FaceTime a family member or a friend you can't be with and remind them that we can all still be connected together. We hope you've enjoyed being on this Easter journey with us. We look forward to staying connected with each of you. Make sure you follow us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube so you can see what's happening. Bye.